Hey guys, I'm doing a beauty counter review with my makeup artist Antonella Annabelle. Hi. Is it Annabelle? Annabelle. Annabelle. In English. Yes. I always call it <laughs> the wrong thing. Um, so she's going to do my makeup now and I'm going to review a bunch of products. She's going to let me take home. I'm taking home what? Oh, a bunch of different things. Oh yeah, I'm adorable. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> cool. Great. Okay. Right. Um, I'm just gonna pull up a chair and talk to the camera. Okay? So we did this uh, beauty counter feature because <clears throat> so the last time we did a shoot, um, Antonella always, most often, does my makeup, and uh, you can come oh, next to it. Yes. Um, and she did this eyebrow on me, and I was wild for it because we'll do shoots together, and I mean obviously the makeup looks amazing during the shoot, mm -hmm. but then afterwards when I go out, I feel like sometimes I have to like pat it down, or I feel like it goes into my wrinkles, and after she did my makeup last time, I was like, what did you use on me? This is, I love the color, and it stayed. The color stayed, it didn't move, it didn't drip, it didn't go into my ever-growing wrinkles, and um, so then I was like, I wanna do a whole review. So then she offered to, uh, let me take some products home, which I haven't done yet. I'll be doing it afterwards. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna see how this, the full beauty counter look runs today. So we're doing a photo shoot and then afterwards I'm gonna go live my life and I'm gonna see how it stays. And so yeah, so thank you You're for welcome. sharing. Thank you. Your I can't counter. wait to see it all. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, our shoot is done. We did four looks today, including a bathing suit look. Ooh. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you my makeup. Uh, we've been sweating balls today. <laughs> we were inland shooting, so we were just so sweaty. There was restaurants with water spraying out. Uh, so yeah, this is my makeup. I feel like I'm a little dewy, but it looks great. My eyes look, I mean, I think my eyes look amazing. Uh, and I'm about to go out and go see a play. I'm super excited. Uh, so yeah, I just want to show you my makeup um, after a full day of shooting and being in a pool, although obviously I didn't go underwater. Um, now I have to go. My share ride is here. Okay. The first reason I'm a big fan of Beauty Counter is their progressive and aggressive ethos for clean beauty. 80% of the ingredients they use in their products is plant-based. They also have this list of never used products, which is 1,500 products that are suspicious or proven to create cancer, infertility, all these different things. You can look on their website actually right here. As you can see, they are incredibly transparent. They have an ingredients glossary list telling me things that I've never heard of before. It's very exciting to actually know what's in my products. The second reason I'm a big fan of Beauty Counter is because of this product right here. This is their hydrating foundation. I use the color Sand Sable. I did not choose that color for myself. My makeup artist Antonella Annabelle chose it for me. And she can help you. She can choose your color. I worked with Antonella for about 10 years. Uh, she's been my personal makeup artist for probably about five. And I was very pumped to find out when she was working with Beauty Counter because I've had many requests already to review the product. So, let me show you why I love this foundation. As you can tell, I'm not wearing any makeup. Or if you can't tell. That'd be great if you couldn't tell. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not wearing makeup. And I've used some pretty good foundations. I have a couple that I really like. But I love this one. Because look underneath my eyes. You can see some shadows. You can't see them as much because this lighting is incredible. But what I love about this foundation is it's the only thing that I have been able to use actually gets rid of my dark circles and doesn't get into my wrinkles. Every time I try foundation or any kind of concealer, I look old, I look aged, I haven't found anything. There's no product that I have found or used that could cover my dark circles. Look at it, look how natural it looks. I love this, I love it so much. So this is why I'm mad for this foundation.
And now this foundation is not for everyone. This is very light. It's very light. When I had really, really bad skin, I used, you know, much thicker foundation because it doesn't cover bad, big blemishes, you know, hard, really hard discoloration. But oh my God, what it does underneath the eyes. I just, I can't get over it. It's amazing. So this is what I do. I always use my fingers. I'm not a makeup artist. I am no professional. This is just me. But most of you watching aren't professionals either. Actually, I'm sure none of you watching are professional makeup artists. Except for Angela. Hi, Angela. <laughs> She'll watch this video. So, that's what I do. So now I look very nice and fresh. I feel like I've lost a few years or at least gained some hours of sleep. Who am I kidding? I sleep really well. I've lost some years there. And uh, there's no like wrinkles. Ugh, I just cannot tell you enough. It doesn't sit in the wrinkles. So that's why I'm kind of bonkers over it. It's also very dewy. I like a dewy look. Notice how my freckles, you can still see my freckles. I love my freckles, I want to see them, but a lot of that kind of discoloration is gone. I just look very even. Because it's my problem is a couple of um, sunspots and some uh, scarring from blemishes. I still have some scarring left over from when I had really, really bad skin and hormonal issues, which is another story for another day. I love it, you still see my skin. It just evens everything out. Really nicely. Another reason that I like Beauty Counter is their blush. The color is melon. They have a couple different colors, but I'm loving the melon. So that's how I bring a little bit of my rose back after I've covered up any kind of red spots with the foundation. I just feel kind of feel. I look. I look and I feel luminous and I feel like it's my face. I don't feel hidden. I feel seen. I really like this palette because I'm a dummy with makeup and I can use it. I just take some trouble and I go like this. That's it. It's such saturated color. I love their colors. And I just do this for every day and I just feel pretty. You'll notice I love pretty things. My, uh, Robin Daly, my photographer, she does such pretty photography. And so I'm just a big fan of all of that. Anything really beautiful, really pretty, light, airy, fresh. So, there's my eyeshadow. I feel like I did nothing and I look lovely. Hope you agree. So, I chose not to review the mascara because I'm kind of a dummy. Uh, when she was giving me all the products, I was like, mm, I love the mascara I use. But this is my favorite mascara in the whole wide world. The Falsies Volume Express. So let me just put this on. Again, my apologies, I did not take home the Beauty Counter Mascara to show you. It's natural, it's great, I wore it for the day, it was lovely. But, I need to spend more time with it, so, sorry. Look how pretty I am! <laughs> this is, I feel like I did nothing. I just did some spot with some foundation, some, some blush, and some eyeshadow. Okay, the next thing I want to review from Beauty Counter is their lip glosses. So I'm not a big lip gloss kind of person. It doesn't really make sense to me. I either want to use a organic lip balm or a I will never leave you lipstick that stays on all day, even through swimming. So, but I will show you a little bit into this world. So this is the rosewood color. And I just want to show you how it goes on. So it's, um, it's a little sticky, like a lot of lip glosses. So you can see right there, some yummy color. I think it's very important to use clean beauty on your mouth. Why? Because you're eating it throughout the day. Just like I said, if I go to eat something, it's gonna be gone. Where did it go? It's in my stomach. So, I'm a big fan of the fact that this is not toxic. By the way, it feels sticky on my finger, but on my lips, it feels right. Like it feels good. It's hydrating, it's not gross. Sometimes you put lip glosses on and they're just like, they're so sticky. This is nice. So, so you saw that the rosewood uh, kind of brought out my natural uh, lip color. I wiped it off. This is azalea. This is azalea, kind of a hot pink. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, a little pinker. Quite like it actually. So I have wiped off the last lip gloss and we're trying Poppy, Poppy Shimmer. Poppy. 
healthy shimmer. It's good, like a little bit of red. Obviously, it's not going to be highly saturated on your lip because it's a lip gloss, but I like them. They don't spread, you know, leak anywhere, and it's all good. So, poppy shimmer. Now on to the lipsticks. They bleed. And so that is why I will not be purchasing the lipsticks. I know you can use a lip liner. I found like the perfect lipstick that stays forever, so I'm gonna stick with that lipstick probably forever. <laughs> but let me show you these rich colors. Yummy, look at that. This color is Garden Party. I love a garden party. But here's, okay, it's the mint, the kind of tingly feeling. I think it feels weird, so I don't like that. But the color is lovely. So it's up to you to decide if you're cool with a little bit of bleeding and the minty freshness of it. That's up to you. I use a hobo oil to take off the lipsticks so we can get a real true visual. Backstage, let's see this guy. This is kind of brown. Oh, it's a nude, duh. Feel a little bit 90s. It's kind of mimicking my almost exact skin tone of my lip. So this one, I don't really like the taste of it. So backstage, not for me. Maybe for you. Next is BC Red, the gold tube. This is a kind of orangey red. Man, I love the colors. So this one I wore, I played with it through um, a couple weeks here, and I just didn't like how it bled as the day goes on because I have a wrinkly mouth. Angela says to use a lip liner, and so if you're looking for non-toxic lipsticks, just get this and then get a really nice lip liner. Angela can direct you. But I'm, I'm personally gonna skip it. And minty feeling again, it's starting to tingle. I just don't like that. Um, you let me know how you feel about it. Okay, last lipstick. My lip, um, because I've taken off lipstick so much, it's starting to look a little rosy on its own. But the last color I wanted to show you is Girls' Night. This is the one I love the most. But you see how creamy it is. It's such a creamy lipstick. So it feels amazing texture wise. No, it's tingling. <laughs> it's tingling a little bit. Um, the tingling does go away, uh, by the way, but it just, it just, I don't know, I don't love it. So this is the, uh, the girl's night. Color is amazing. This is my favorite red color. So if you want a non toxic red, this is your girl. And just, you need to get a good lip liner so that it doesn't bleed throughout the day. Obviously it looks amazing right now, because I just applied it. But if I ate, it'll start to bleed. To sum it all up, the foundation Dynamite. It probably isn't for anyone with really problematic skin if you have a lot, a lot of acne. I don't think it's going to do a killer job there. But if you have just some discoloration, it's amazing for evening the skin tone. If you have wrinkles, I love, love, love how it doesn't get into my wrinkles. I look, I like I don't drink alcohol and get amazing sleep. I love their blush. The blush is yummy. I love the melon, the rosiness that it gets me, uh, that it gives me. I love the, um, oh, you know what I wanted to tell you? I love, okay, I know this is about makeup. I wasn't going to actually mention it in this video, but I have to. I am dying for their vitamin C serum. I'll do a whole other video, but Beauty Counter to me, I am purchasing so much of this. Sorry, I'm getting all 
I got very distracted by the vitamin C's here. So what I'm trying to say in summary is Beauty Counter, the items that I purchased that I love is vitamin C serum, their vitamin C serum, this, uh, their eyeshadow palettes, I mean just dive in, amazing. And I'm so glad that I'm using non-toxic uh, products next to my eyes. And their foundation. So these are the items that I have purchased and that I own and that I use practically every day. I don't wear makeup every day, but I use this every single night. And I use this whenever I put makeup on. So this has really changed, really changed my beauty routine. It really has, so I'm pumped about that. I love their blush too, but I have a blush that I, that I like. If I run out of blush, I will buy this. But I just can't imagine running out of blush at this point in my life. I swear it just lasts and lasts. <laughs> Anywho, this is my beauty counter review. I am Vanessa Valente, San Diego's number one personal stylist and original fashion blogger, established 2007, and I hope you enjoyed this review. <laughs> Antonella Annab Annabelle will answer, I never get her name right, Antonella Annabelle will answer any questions you have about the products, and I think she can give you holiday discounts. I'll let her tell you about that.